here with another installment from the This Could Be You series. First and foremost, Leo and Virgo heard it first, but I'm going to announce it to you. I've turned Special 50 back on, and it's going to run until December the 7th. Now I urge you, if you haven't already reserved your spot, then you definitely need to reserve your spot. And the reason I say that is, even though I would like the date to be December the 7th, I may have to cut it off sooner than December the 7th. The reason being is because I'm already a week out. Okay, so I'm already moving into the following week. So those of you that are reserving now for Special 50 are getting next weekend. Okay, and then I'll be booking for the previous week. You know, people take their time when they get the special and they get the invoice and they say, okay, well, if it's not due until the 7th, I'll hold on to it. And then what ended up happening is you're booked almost a month out because you wanted to slack and you thought, oh, well, it's at a close on the 7th. Special 50 is my busiest time, especially around the busiest time of the year, which is Christmas. <clears throat> I encourage you that if you want to be a part of this, if you want to take advantage of the special, which is like an extended Black Friday, then I would urge you to hurry up and take advantage of that, okay? Now, the 30-minute reading is still the same price, $45. And then the special 50 is for one hour, and you talk about one area, so it's not a multiple question, so... Of course, I kept the $75 reading up as well as the $45 uh, dollar reading for, I think it's $40 for the 30 special, the 30 minute reading. And then I think it's 65 for 45 minutes or something like that, or $45, 45 minutes for $65. <clears throat> anyway, I'm extending the special 50, okay? now. If you haven't already, definitely take advantage of it because I don't know how long I'm going to keep it out. I am already booked out um, almost two weeks, okay? I'm already in my second week of booking, all right? Past next weekend. So take advantage of it. And you have to take in consideration that I'm also doing my uh, free readings on the Intuitive Fridays as well as I have people that have booked last year for Special 50 that are using them now as well. Okay, so if you haven't already, like I said, take advantage of that. Now, this reading that I was doing, I was sitting here and I, you know, I've been having a lot of crazy dreams. Forgive the noise that you hear, all the bumping around. I have a neighbor over top of me that is moving out, so it's very loud. Hopefully it's not affecting you guys. Hopefully you can't hear it, but if you do, I apologize. I was sitting here and I had been having all kind of dreams about clandestine affairs. So I figured that is what my spirit guides want me to talk about next. The message of this reading is called my Se Your Secret Lover. The reason I call it that is because this affair that I see that is taking place, this is an affair that is taking place in a workplace. Uh, one of you in that affair is already married and you have someone at home. Now, I had turned the deck over and then I got the Queen of Wands. So I said, okay, well, what's under it? The King of Wands. And then what's under that? The Three of Pentacles, which talks about a workplace. And then what's under that? The Two of Cups. And then what's under that? The Sun. Now, let me just stick here and talk to you. Of course, this can be relating to two fire signs that are having an affair at the workplace. Absolutely. But it doesn't necessarily have to be at the workplace. It can be an affair that is taking place between two fire signs and one of you are married. Now, I'm just going to tap into your feelings for a minute. Those of you that are in the middle of this affair. Now, if it is not that you guys are fire signs as your sun sign, then it could be uh, two rising signs that are after each other that are fire signs. So you may have an Aries rise and the other person has a Sagittarius rise and vice versa. So definitely check your sun 
and your rising okay it could be a sun sign leo a rising sign aries it doesn't matter this is two fire signs i'm talking about this relationship between the two of you is very intense very extremely intense and it makes you feel good i'm not here to judge what's going on at home at home it may feel like i'm just listening to that shit over top of me i'm sorry I, they have a shark Okay, and it literally sounds like it's sucking up the goddamn roof with it. Okay, my roof, their floor, my roof. Okay, that's a powerful ass sweeper. This is a very, very intense attraction between the two of you. This is somebody who you can communicate with, someone who totally understands you. And you wouldn't think that two fire signs would get along, especially with all the competition and the ego. But you would be surprised as to how another person can relate to you that uh, sort of lives their life similar to you, even though one of you are married, the other is single. Why did I bring this up? Well, I brought this up because this is very important. Some of you don't know what to do, especially the Christmas holiday is coming up and being with a fire sign, whether it's a sun or rising, could be very demanding because that other person wants all of you. And you may have to share yourself with a Virgo. Or you may have to be involved with a Cancer. Okay, or it could be an earth sign. Just give me a minute because I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to you. At some point in your life, lovers, you have to be honest about what it is that you desire. And a lot of times, the choices that you make is going to hurt another. And there's nothing you can do about that, okay? Because you only get one life to live and timing is not on your side. Timing is not something that belongs to us alone. Timing is borrowed. When you meet somebody that fulfills all of you, or at least you feel fulfilled by that person, then it is up to you to make the decision. People often struggle because they've been married for 10 and 15 years to one person, but they're not happy. They're not getting the love, the affection, the attention that they need and desire. And oftentimes people will step outside of the relationship and start messing around with someone else. They're not bad people. They may have issues with expressing themselves and telling the truth about how they feel but they're not bad people because it happens to all of us. Even the most faithful person oftentimes find themselves in a compromising situation to where they can't decide between two lovers. Why is this important? I look at the hermit card going up against this knight of swords. And then I look at the seven of pentacles with the hangman over here. Some opportunities only have a limited time offer on them. Just like my special 50. It's a limited time offer, so you have to make a decision rather quickly. Because time waits for no one. Those of you that are married and you find yourself having an affair with someone who really pleases you and makes you happy. I feel like for this holiday, you wanna be with that person, but you have marital duties that you have to tend to. You're in a relationship and you're expected to show up for the family. And it's almost like a conflict of interest that's being twisted and turned inside of you because everybody expects this chariot card here, everyone expects you to show up with your family. But your heart expects you to go after what makes it feel good. So you're confused. Hopefully all of you can see these cards. And if not, let me just read them real quick. Three of Pentacles, the Sun, the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, the Hermit, and the Five of Pentacles. On the sides, we have the Hermit going up against the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles with the Hangman, the overall energy, the Ace of Wands. Okay, you probably can't see it because it's over here. 
And then uh, for the advice cards, I have Temperance with the Page of Swords. And I have some Lenormans down here, okay, that tells a little bit about what's going to happen if you make that decision, which some of you are begging to know. I have the garden, the tower, the child, the man, the bear, and the clover. I can tell you the cards all day. And you guys already know what these are. The Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Sun. I can tell you what the cards are. But when I read them, this is my own intuition. So if you go by the book, then you'll probably get a totally different definition. It's up to you. Whatever. My accuracy rate is through the roof. So if I tell you that you need to make a decision and that's what you need to do. Okay. I have a little sippy cup here. So that's what you hear me. I'm drinking my soda. I don't need it, but I need it right now. Just, just listen to me because every now and then I just get real and I, and I, feel a lot of you guys' energy and I know you're begging for answers and I wish I could just chop myself up into pieces and appeal to everybody, but I can't. I can't. And I can't be available all the time. And, and people are going through different situations where they can't afford a reading. I understand it. I do. That's why I extend special 50 and things like that. I try to make it possible. And then I also do the free readings. And then right before Christmas, I'll do a special where I'm giving away free one-hour readings. But that's later on down the road. Right now, I need you to listen to me. The Vertex is going to hit December the 23rd, 2017. It's going to be a very critical time for all of you, not just Sagittarius, but all of you. Because this is the time in your life where you're wrapping up old projects and you're beginning anew. Will you continue on your path making the same decisions or will you start off with something new? Will you continue into the new year with that same old lover that's driving you crazy or will you choose that brand new lover that you never gave a chance? Okay, this is very critical for all of you, even if you're not going into union with your twin flame. Life is not all about twin flames and life partners. As much as you guys would love to, for me to talk about twin flames and life partners, let me tell you something. To the twin flame and a life partner, it's not a happy event. Only to the romantic dreamer. Twin flame and life partner energy is very difficult. It's not a happy-go-lucky thing. It's very difficult and it feels like waiting. And you laugh when I say that, but I'm telling you the truth. When you sit down and you talk to a real twin flame, or you talk to a real life partner, the life partner may tell you, listen, this has been an abusive situation for many years. I don't like him. I don't love her, but I can't let go. And then the twin flame may tell you, I don't even know what it feels like because I've never had the opportunity. I just know that something is holding on to me, choking the fuck out of me. That's what it feels like to the real twin flame and the real life partner. fire signs. This is a this could be you. So this is not about me appealing to singles. I'm talking about somebody that's in trouble. I'm talking about somebody that's having an affair with someone and they can't tell anybody about it. It may be an affair popping off in a workplace and the people around you know about it, but your wife don't know or your husband don't know. But people in the workplace look at you like you're together. With that sun card being there, sun is here twice. So this is something that's out in the open, especially in the workplace. And for those of you that don't have an affair going on with someone in the workplace, then maybe this is somebody outside of your circle that knows your business. This could be your best friend. The person that you're closest to and you tell everything to ev you tell them everything about your life. Even your secrets. This is your Linda, your sad bitch, your friend, your boy that you're telling that you're having this affair going on. It's not always wise to tell everybody everything. Because you're innocent until proven guilty. But what this person knows 
could come back to haunt you. Why am I saying all this? It's very simple. I'm telling you all of this because I'm giving you the opportunity to make your own decision. <clears throat> I'm giving you the opportunity to come clean with your lover, your husband, your wife. Let them know, listen, in the beginning, you know what? I loved you and you love me and I still love you and you still love me. And we have children. We have a common interest together. We have property together. We have children together. We have something to where we have to be connected. However, when it comes to sex, I'm not pleased. When it comes to the way you look at me, I don't like it. You don't make me feel important anymore. And because of that, I've stepped out and I've started seeing someone else. I'm giving you that opportunity to do that before the vertex hit. Why? Because when the vertex hit, then your friend will become foe. Your secret, your secret will come out to be the truth. And you won't have that opportunity anymore. So make it right right now. Don't be ashamed to go after what makes you feel good. Don't be ashamed to give a chance to a person that makes you feel so special. It may not be there after it comes out. Because the one thing that I've learned, the spirit gives you an opportunity. It may give you a good time. They give you somebody that you can connect with right at the time when you're married or right at the time where you're already in a relationship with someone else. They expect you to be strong enough, wise enough to choose according to your heart, what you feel. But with us being so greedy, why fix something that's not broken? Excuse me. If wifey or my husband don't know that I'm fucking around, why tell them that? I don't want to hurt them. You feel that by telling them or exposing your truth, it's going to hurt them. That's not the truth. We as a people have to learn how to give the other person an opportunity to make their own decisions. And when you lie to them and you commit adultery or you cheat on them, behind their black, back, blindly, it takes that choice away from them. And that is where the karmic energy begins. Yes. There's a possibility that you may leave your husband for a dud. You may leave your wife for a catalyst. There's always that possibility. But are you strong enough to accept your decision and to walk through it no matter what? No matter if you lose your husband and you stay with the catalyst because you went off your feeling. Or if you walk away from the catalyst and you stay with your wife and it's still a dead end situation. You know, we have to learn how to be content in our decisions. If you keep cheating on your wife or you keep cheating on your husband, why do you stay? Just to be able to say that you have someone? What fun is that? You might as well be single. No more. When you move into 2018, move into 2018 as a changed, grown adult. No longer the scapegoat. No longer looking for a scapegoat. But being honest enough to say, you know what? Life is short. And this motherfucker may not be the one. But it's making my body feel beautiful. And this is what I want right now. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And if it's not a good idea, it's a lesson I've learned. We have so many people failing lessons right now because they're not strong enough to stand by their convictions. Just make the decision and stand on if it doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. And it's not going to work for all of you. Some of you are asking me, Bella, is it going to work? That's your question. Is it going to work? If I leave my husband for this man, is, is he going to work out? Does he love me? You cannot ask me that question. Not in a free reading anyway. It's going to be different strokes for different folks. This is why I leave Special 50 out. This is why I encourage you to get a reading. Because for every last one of you, is not going to be the same outcome. 
This is the one thing I can say for sure, guys. And I'm getting out of here. Those of you that are having clandestine affairs on your wife or your husband, it is a simple test. It is a simple test to see if you have grown enough to know it is not fair for me to cheat on this person without them knowing. I have to let this person know what's going on. And if I'm too weak to let them know what's going on, then I have to at least split up and give this person an opportunity to find someone that's going to work for them. I'm no longer going to stay in a situation that is sickening to me. It, it drives me crazy. It makes me sad. I'm not going to do that. Why would I stay with you just because we have children together? Just because we have a business together? And I'm fucking a totally different person. Why would I do that? No. How about right now we put this thing on hold and I go after what I think I want. And if it works out, cool. And if it doesn't work out, maybe I need to realize a good thing when it's gone. But I can't do that when I'm still with you, lying to you, sleeping with someone on the side. You're only causing problems for yourself. You can go to a million readers. doesn't matter. You're only causing problems for yourself. Some of you cannot make the move. Looking at this hermit, the five of pentacles. Some of you are having a hard time moving on with your side piece because you feel that you're going to let your children down. Well, let me tell you something. Your children is let down when they see there's no connection between mommy and daddy. And mommy and daddy are only staying together because of us. They're let down right there. Because believe it or not, the children that you feel you're going to neglect chose you as a mother, you as a father, and they already expect which you don't even know you're going to make the decision to. So they already knew that they were incarnating into a family that will be split up. Or they already knew that they were incarnated to a single mother or incarnated to a single father. Whatever. They already know that. I don't want you to make your decision based off of the children that you feel you're going to leave behind. The wife that you feel is going to sue you for spousal support. The baby mama that's going to sue you for child support. I don't want you to make your decision off of that. What I am telling you to do is make your decision based off of the way you feel. Because whether you like it or not. If you're only staying with a person because of money, you're only staying with a person because of the children, at the end of the day, you're just taking the long road. But eventually that person is going to sue you for child support. Or that person is going to sue you for spousal support. Eventually. And all you're doing is delaying the time and delaying a moment. And then what happens is once it's broken up without a mutual consent, meaning that they find out you cheated on them, they found out that you hurt them, they found out that you had children on them, then you separate with anger, therefore creating what is known as karmic energy. But if you're totally honest with this person, deal with the child support right in and air, deal with the spousal support, and some of you won't even have to deal with that. You were honest with that person, so even though that person may cry and their heart may break in a thousand pieces, they have to look up and say, at least he was honest. At least she told me the truth, and I love him for that. And most of them will not go and sue you secretly behind your back for child support or spousal support. They only do that because they're bitter, because they feel like you got one up on them without them having the opportunity to make the decision. Did I want to stay with a cheating man? Did I want to marry a man that, or, or stay in a marriage that this man had a baby on me? You took that away from them. So when you take that away from them, it causes them to become bitter and to do things out of anger. out of wanting to pay you back. But if you're honest, you take that away from them. So now they're not acting on anger. They may be acting on, well, it hurts me, but at least they, they were honest. And I can't go and sue this person for child support or try to get back at him just because he don't want to be with me. I have to be honest. This person was honest with me. And I want you to be happy. I'm trying to teach you guys how to stop the karmic energy in its tracks.
your secret lover is not important to you because it's a secret. Make your secret lover your main lover. And you're found out you're a lot more happy and everything flows within the karmic balance. I love you guys. Listen, I made my announcements in the beginning. I won't repeat myself. Do like, share, comment below. Definitely subscribe. If it's not you, share with your friends. If you choose someone, you got a friend or whatever, and you refer them to me, you've already had a reading with me, and they pay for a reading, make sure you get back to me and let me know. Make sure they mention you as well when they're buying the reading. So you can get your discount. I love you so much. I thank you for supporting me. Keep supporting me. I'm going to keep supporting you. And remember, you were thinking it, but I'm going to say it. Merry Christmas, guys.